Oh, so we got characters now too. Rick. When Rick was six years old, he went on a camping trip that changed his life. Since then, all he's wanted to talk about is Bigfoot. Until eventually everyone who knew him claimed he was insane. But that didn't faze Rick. He went on to be a professional hunter, mastering the art of stealth. He went on to become the founder and the leader of the Bigfoot Research Association. He spends his days focusing on a single goal, finding out the truth. Did he really meet Bigfoot that day? Oh, I like what they've done with this. Okay, so that's Rick. Jessica. Jess is a primate expert, one of the youngest in a field. She's eager to be the first to discover a new species, hoping to receive the Nobel Prize for cryptozoology. All she needs is some proof of Bigfoot's existence. And the BRA, or <laughs> the Bigfoot Research Association, is ready to help her. I like Jess. That's cool. Primate expert. Thomas. Tom is a policeman who always had courage and strength, but this power didn't save his loved ones from death. Oh no, because Bigfoot turned out to be stronger. Wait, no way. After resignation, he decides to join the, the Bigfoot Research Association to prevent further deaths. Tom has always shown courage and strength as a policeman, but it wasn't enough against the legendary Bigfoot. After losing his loved ones from the beast, Tom resigned from the force and turned to the Bigfoot Research Association. He believes that with them he can find Bigfoot and put an end to the killings. That, I did not expect that. Okay. William. Will is a college student whose life revolves around programming and computer games. <laughs> His dream? Making the first great game about hunting Bigfoot. Will wants to get on the front lines and learn all he can. Okay, that's a bit extreme, Will. You really want to get in the face of something that can tear you limb from limb just to make a video game? I mean, that's commitment. Okay, he's eager to learn and see Bigfoot up close. Okay. These character models are insane. Like, they're so much cooler than... I mean, I don't know if this is... I can't remember if this is what they look like. I kind of like Rick or Jess. I gotta be honest. I think I'm gonna go with... I think I'm gonna go with Rick. Yeah, let's go with that. Ready and begin. Okay, here we go. A week ago, tragedy struck in Redwood. The bodies of four people were found. A middle-aged woman and three college students mutilated by some creature. The incident has been ruled as an accident, but evidence has been collected that may just lead to a new explanation of what happened. It's time for a new investigation to take place. I don't know about you guys, but I am so ready for this. Okay, we've set up camp. Nice. Uh, that noise sounded familiar. All right, night vision, healing. Okay, all that good stuff. I'm going to get used to all of this, but we're running solo, so I shouldn't really need to worry about all of that. Okay, I might need to mess around with my settings a little bit because of the sensitivity and stuff, but look at this. <gasps> this is legit like a new game. So this is just a map of the United States. We go, oh, there we go. Some flare cartridges. We got ourselves a flare gun. Inside this place is really cool too. Like just the whole feel of it. What's that? Signal flare. 24 hours. The national park is closed due to numerous accidents. Two rulings legacy. Okay. There's probably something on there that I'm missing, but massive steak. Just on the pan. There's a trap. Some alcohol here too. We open this up. Oh, can we store things in this now? Oh, here's all the missing people. John Coleman, Peter Mills, Monica Chambers, Ruby Bray. And there's the iconic photos of the beast. What we got? This is just for the cameras and things? Yeah, we can check out our cameras. So is it just one, two? Yeah, okay, you just scroll through it that way. What else we got? Some paper, laptop. This is... Okay, this is for the same thing. I know there's a drone that you can use. Let's grab the cameras. There's ambient noises coming from the game since the update. Oh, there's the drone. There's ambient noises coming from the game since the update. And I'm telling you guys, there's a very claustrophobic feel straight away. Hunting rifle, some ammunition. 7.62 rounds and 9mm. Alright, <laughs> I want to believe. Alright, let's do this. So, slot one. We got the rifle, R700. Scoped in, ready to go. Slot number two. 
We got the flare gun, just in case we need it. Slot number three. Oh, nice. Like a, a little bayonet or something. Slot four. Wait, where's my pistol gun? Oh, that's how it works. So you've got like multiple slots on one slot, I guess. That's how it works. Because you see up here, we got the rifle. And then we got that little, that little notch above it. That indicates that we've just got the rifle. But on the pistol, there's two here. And on the knife, there's two here. So if you scroll up, look, you can see that. Can we do that just by... There's the pistol. Oh, you can use scroll wheel. Okay, cool. First aid box. I'm actually terrified to go and do this. Because just based off how this looks, I re really don't know what we're going to run into. And it's getting dark too. All right, let's see. Park rules. No glass containers, no unattended fires, the usual. Quieting down. <laughs> we'll have none of this jump scare business while I'm hunting a mythical creature. This is not our first rodeo. Oh, there's something back there too. This is definitely not our first rodeo. We've been after a lot of mythical creatures before. Oh my god, I totally forgot there might be wildlife. What's this? Drone battery? No, no, no. We'll leave that there for now. Can I take those? Why is that blue screened? What's happened? I totally forgot. Which is flashlight F? I totally forgot that there could be wildlife. God, it's so dark as well. Okay, yeah. You guys are seeing what I'm seeing. Like, it's pitch black. We're in this together, though. Let's just do a little bit of exploration. So, I'm just going to follow the map and see if we can... See oh. Did you guys just hear that? Grant Grove Village. We'll go there. Oh, okay. I'm recording this really late at night too, guys. <laughs> I'm, it's, it's ridiculous when I'm recording this. Everything is pitch black. I'm, I'm squinting just to see ahead of what's going on. The slightest noise is freaking me out. <laughs> You'd think we'd be used to this by now. I'm not. Ooh. Noises up ahead. Okay, we've seen stuff like this before. Is this how it marks its territory or something? If that even is the Bigfoot. Hearing wolves as well. Let me, uh... I switched to the pistol. Grant Grove, right? That's where we were headed. I think we're going to take this pretty slow because there's a lot to digest from the update. There's... Ready for that. <gasps> okay, how are we doing? Where's my health? Bottom right. Right. Where's the health kit? We're going to have to heal. I can think I can press H2, right? To to do that. Let me just grab the gun back out and then... And then you just... Yeah, okay. You have to click in order to do it. Oh my god. Just 0 to 100. Like, you saw the fence break and I was like, wait, what is that? Is it a wolf or something? And nope, it was the creature. What's this? Night vision camera, some more 762. I didn't even see. Where's it? We didn't do anything? Wait, was I not doing damage to it? I could have swore that I hit the thing. I put like a couple of 9 mil rounds into it and then a couple of the, uh, I'm speechless, <laughs> a couple of the rifle rounds too. 5.56 five, rounds. Can we get like a an assault rifle or something? M4? That'd be nice. I don't want to leave this now. Right, let's reload everything up. Oh my god. <laughs> Sometimes when you play these things, your whole body cramps up. Mine's not let go yet. <laughs> I'm still expecting another attack. I'll show you guys what I was talking. Nope. Nope. What the hell?
hell was that? There was a noise like something was just killed in the forest. Another bag. I'm so sorry that I'm going through everybody's belongings, but I might need it. A pipe wrench. Why do we need a pipe wrench? Have we got to fix stuff? Does light... Oh, maybe... Oh, that's talking the game, isn't it? Maybe light makes him pissed off or something. Because it would make sense that that creature would hunt at night, right? It'd be a nocturnal animal. Maybe bright lights irritate his eyes or something like that. We don't know how that animal's... Oh my god. If I press that, that's going to be... I knew it would do that. I fucking knew it would do that. Oh, <laughs> this game. Why can I open a microwave? What? Storage? Give me this. Can I pick up another pistol? I should probably leave that, right? Yeah, let's leave it. Windows are all boarded up. So maybe these people have already been attacked by it. I'm sure they have. Stay alive. This feels... Like, I know this is stupid saying this, but it's like the best way I can say it. Oh my god! I'm, I absolutely love that vocalization. It's terrifying. But it's so cool. Empty as well. Can we see him? What? Oh! Trinox! They added it! Oh my god, they added it to the game! Oh, if you guys have been a long-time viewer of the channel and you've watched us play the old version of Bigfoot, back then it was called Finding Bigfoot. It's gone through a few changes. What's this? Oh, baseball! Baseball bat. Can we do it too? I said a long time ago when I took a, a little bit of a, an obsessive interest <laughs> in this subject. I, I find stuff like this. You guys know me by now. If you don't, then just just i'm on the little side of crazy when it comes to this type of stuff i love researching it and the the more that i find answers the more that i tend to get questions too and it just drives that insanity to just keep finding out more and more information and i think that's where my obsession comes from with stuff like this the same with the ufo subject the same with all the weird disappearances with like true crime stuff i just love it i love all that stuff like the mystery thing it's, it's definitely my jam but we have a baseball bat so can we Oh, yeah, we can. Get this. I want to do a tree knock. Look at the size of that thing. I'm going to do a tree knock. What about this here? Oh, I've just thought that might bring it in. Oh, no, no, no. That might be a terrible idea. That might bring him in. Let's have a look. If we hear anything, then we'll know it was a response. Oh, hello. R870. Nice big shotgun. We'll take that. I'll do some damage. Some storage. I ri a big axe. Is this like a survival game or something? What's this? Peter, I can't find you anywhere. I found Ruby's diary. Oh my... F Shut up. Oh my god! Yeah, I'm not surprised. Oh, where is my shotgun? Oh, I keep forgetting I can use scroll wheel. Reload this thing up. It's the loudest thing ever. There's like legit... It feels like there's a storyline in this now. Peter, I can't find you anywhere. I found Ruby's diary. Read it, but didn't take it oh read it but didn't take it i'll tell you tonight meet me by the waterfall monica chambers oh i think i just saw one there yeah monica's dead <laughs> monica's dead saying it right now peter i'm going to that trap with ruby she needs some help be careful monica monica's not yeah monica's monica's long gun you ain't wandering around this forest with a gigantic creature like a sasquatch Was that seaplane? Oh no. That's Trinox. That is Trinox. That's what that is. Give me the baseball bat. Come here. Oh my fuck. Oh, 
I don't know if I can play this. Oh my god, my poor heart. Oh my god. For those that don't know, I've literally just come out of hospital. <laughs> like, like, no, like four days ago. <laughs> come out of hospital. I had a heart rate of like 150 something for like two days. I don't know if I should be playing this type of shit. <laughs> it's probably not good. I can't resist. I've got to do it. Three knocks. Here we go. Was that a vocalization or was that actually like an animal dying? Because he's got to eat, right? Oh! Um. Oh my god. Wait. No, 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 no. What the f. Wait. Did I. Get what in the hell is that? Okay. What do I do? <laughs> And now there's wolves! Guys, I don't <laughs> don't want to go out there anymore. <laughs> Can I not just sit down here, please? <laughs> Everything is terrifying. Or what does this say? Hunter found dead. Yeah, it's gonna be me. <laughs> oh my god. This is I mean, don't get me wrong, I love everything about this. But you gotta admit, so much has happened so far. All right, let's get to that waterfall. See if we can find any trace of Monica. I mean, I am hurt. Do I have... Okay, I have another first aid kit. I should probably... Should probably use that. Because the interaction that I had with the creature before... It slapped me around like a rag doll. And so it should as well. Like... I've said it a million times before. If you guys actually don't know... But if you take into account, like, what... Uh, a fully grown male chimp could do to a human. And I mean this. It could tear you limb from limb. Could you imagine what a creature of this size could do? Taking into account, like, its muscle and bone density and stuff like that. I know we're getting a kind of a bit off topic with this, but, like, if, if you really care about that type of stuff, just look. Have a, have a little Google and, uh, and see what a full-grown male chimp can do to a human. It's not even a contest. Even, like, if you're thinking, like, Thor, that, that huge guy, or the biggest human to ever have roamed Earth, mus like, in muscles and stuff like that, it's not even a fair fight. The chip... Oh my god, another one! What even is this? They've set traps everywhere. This is what Monica must be talking... Okay, I gotta watch out, <laughs> watch out for that stuff now. Am I bleeding or anything? I don't think so. No, that's my camera. Okay, can't really see. Let's get to this waterfall and see what's going on. I can't believe that I didn't do any damage to it. 1,033 health this thing has. 1,033. Okay, we found... We found Grey Falls. Let's get a little bit of height. Monica? Oh. Oh, you're over there, aren't you, big guy? Oh, just stay over there. Look at that thing that I was caught in, that trap. Oh my god, that's so nasty as well. Like the spikes that stick in. Wait. Those wolves are coming in. They're getting louder and louder. I stuck around this area just to see if I could see Monica's body anywhere, but nothing. Can't take that. No, no, no. Oh, come on, get across, get across, get across. Oh, leave me alone. Just go, 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 go. Oh, I've got to reload. Oh, he's going to slap the ever living piss out of me now. Come on, come on, go, 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 go. Why do I. F oh, my. Wait. Did he just. He threw something at us. No. Oh. My God. Switch. Come on, switch. Okay. That is doing nothing to him. He's basically just... Oh, that sound. 
he threw a stick at us. I don't know if you guys caught that. He either threw a rock or a stick. I think it was this. And it hit me dead center as well. That's what knocked me on my ass. All right, give me this. I'm going to have to use both of them. I've got to find some more health. Yeah, let's get out of this area then. I right, switch back to the shotgun. I've got two shells left. Oh, it's not looking good. We got to hit up a few more places in hopes we can get some more stuff. When I was actually loading into the game, there's settings that you can put on for like the Bigfoot setting, the, the loot, and I think there's something else as well, but I left everything as it was. So I believe I'm on two right now. I don't know if that might be too much <laughs> while doing a solo. But I mean, if I play if I play it safe, if I find a spot where I can make... Get like a little choke point or something, I might be able to work some magic. But 900 health left? I don't know what we're going to do about that. Right, so this way and then just keep going in this direction. I should run into another part of the road. You there... And then press E to take, hold E to put meat. We got meat from the uh, the RV, right? So we've got that one. Do I camouflage it? Oh, no, it's actually got it already on. Right, should I put a camera here then? Let's keep an eye on that. A little bit of an elevated angle here too. So let's put you... Wait, see his camera, right? There we go. Put you down and we're rolling. Oh, I think it might be able to smell the meat. Time to go. Time to go. This <laughs> is not hanging around. The day and night cycles are pretty quick too, so we're going to go through the days here. Which I'm not too mad at, because at least I get to see what happens, if there is anything that happens with the different day and night cycles. That's dead ahead. Okay. So if I do that back... Wait. Where's my baseball bat gun? Pipe wrench. Let's try that. So, if I remember right, I know from watching a lot of, like, the whole Bigfoot researcher documentaries and stuff like that, they do hear these tree knocks, and they don't exactly know, obviously, <laughs> why it happens. But it's a weird phenomena that does occur while they're in areas. That's a bear. You're like the least of my problems right now. Come on, go down, go down. What was that? I've got a feeling sooner or later I'm going to run into more bears, wolves. And if, if I can use this as a deterrent rather than just blowing through all my ammunition. If there's a... Oh, don't do it, bear. Just go down, please. <laughs> Just make everything easier. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's exactly what you want to see. He's basically made this entire area his territory. And we're just roaming through it. I mean, who did he say we were? We were Rick, right? So, we consider ourselves quite the hunter. But it's not necessarily that we fear this thing. We respect it. We should know that certain areas are off-limits, like its cave, which I really want to find. Oh! Ooh. Oh, it broke the trap! Oh. Wait, what health did it... It did 10 HP? Wait. I'm sure that was on 933. No, 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 no. There we go, it's down. Well, I got a bear. If we don't get a Bigfoot, we can be happy that we got a bear. Your meat is going to be... you. That's going to attract it, isn't it? Oh, no. <laughs> it's left a load of bone and guts there. I was just about to say, it won't be in vain. You'll help me capture this thing and stop the killings, but... <laughs> I don't know if that's going to happen. Old Hunting Tower 3. Oh, oh, okay. Let's switch to... The pistol. I don't think that's what we're supposed to do anyway. I had a thought after it. It's like an elk or something. I had a thought after I saw the first one. Maybe that 
if we if we signal up, we'll get supplies or it might just be a simple way of getting out once you've got the creature. Or if it's down, that's how you call people in to recover the actual creature itself. Which would make a lot more sense than just trying to get out of here. We've come in for a reason. <laughs> we don't just want to leave. Unless things get too sketchy, at which point you do want to get out. All right, what we got? Camp House 1. What does that say? Is it beware? You guys left any stuff? Some 762. Can I reload my rifle with that? No, it's just five shots. Keep the shotgun out. What in the hell? Oh, you barricaded yourselves in. Oh, you poor, poor people. Were they that terrified? Oh my god, yep, look at this. They were ripped out through that, weren't they? The blood. Flies around the bins. Oh, well, I didn't mean to do that. I thought it was going to open the window or something. 7.62. Some more shotgun rounds. The heat is still on. No hot food or anything. Fuel canister. You can't take this item. I thought I picked one of those up before. Why did I pick that up? Maybe make an explosive or fuel a vehicle for getting out of this place or the RV. It's over there. I wonder if that knock lets it know that you know, it's just to turn away or something. I'm trying to go through it in my head what it could mean. One. Two. Three. It could just be a straight up sign that the creature's in the area, like an early warning sign, but... I don't know, why would they put that mechanic in the game? It's cool that they've added tree knocks, though. I think that is genuinely badass that they've added that. It's so cool. A little attention to detail. It's almost 762. It just doesn't feel like it's doing anything, though. I need something more hard-hitting. Oh, night vision. I didn't even check that. N. Oh, that's nice. Obviously not inside, though. Some more storage. What else we got? What on earth? Is that a pizza? I thought it was a face, like a mask or something. Rifle. More ammunition. A radio. A radio for help? I'm going to have to use one of these things to stay overnight. Hunker down. Shit. Oh, you, f <gasps> you were here the entire time? Leave me alone, 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 leave me alone. Oh, you f- Oh, he's beating me with something. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. Let me out! Let me out right now! Oh! Did you guys just see that? I think... Oh my god! I genuinely think he picked up. I don't know if you guys caught that. I don't know if he's going to be when I was back there. Basically, when you're on these trails, I see if we can see one. You can find, like, uh, I guess, like a hiking trail sign. <laughs> he was beating the... Oh! Nowhere safe. Literally nowhere is safe. No! I gotta say, though, I mean, I've only played, what, just around an hour's worth so far? I love what they've done with this. I really, really do. They've nailed it. From where the game was to where it is now, it did feel like... I mean, it was a cool game before. You guys know I enjoyed it. But to where it is now, they're just it feels like there's more. You want to keep going, right? You want to find those... Oh, I can do that. Yep, yep. Yep, we're good. We're good. God, I hope that's doing something. Maybe it thinks by me doing a knock, I'm one of its kind, and it's staying out of this area. 
<laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm so hoping. Oh, we can get up this way. Across this little walk section. There's another tree down there. Oh my god, look at the size of that tree. There's so much to explore as well. I'm... Oh! There's rocks that fall too. As if there isn't enough to worry about, there's rocks that fall too. Nice. <laughs> Everything is trying to kill you in this. Oh, we got a little camp. Elam Campground. What we got? You guys left anything behind? Well, you brought some ammunition with you, so... Oh, the big guy's on his way. Gotta be quick. More shotgun shells. That's nice. I'm just finding so much ammunition. And it, it feels helpless because I don't think it does anything. I really don't. I think the traps are going to be the way to go. Speaking of, let me put one of these down. And then if we hold E, put some meat on there. I think it's camouflaged. Put a camera here too. So we can see what's going on. And then we move. <laughs> If you're watching this and thinking, it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> it's really not. It is. It is. When you play this type of stuff solo, you can act all tough. But sooner or later, there's going to be noises that come out of you that you just don't intend to make. And it's just, it's that fear from deep within, you know? When you feel like you're being hunted. We're not supposed to be. We're supposed to be top of the food chain. And then when we get something like this, oh, it's... <laughs> It really wakes up something that shouldn't be there. He does have the sign in his hand. Oh, right, no, no, no. Get out of there. Go, go, go. Get inside this. He had one of these in his hand. Oh, that's so... Give me this. I need your meat. Quick, 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 quick. Get inside. He's, he's going to be coming. He's abandoned. Anybody there? Oh, health kit. Nice. Give me that. Oh, I'm going to use it. Just to top everything off. Let's see if we can just take a little bit of cover inside. 9546. 9546. Oh, there we go. Nine, five, four, six. Okay. And... Oh! oh, yeah. Okay. Now the tables have turned. Okay. Don't feel as worried as I was. Don't get me wrong. We're still, we're still dealing with something that could probably swap me like a fly. But... I have an M4 now. Might have evened the odds a little bit. Let's go straight down this way. I can hear that plane, but I, I really don't think there's anything I can do. Yeah. It's just doing flybys right now. Where is the, uh... Where's the warden? You know what? Let me throw down one of those. I have some meat, and that should be camouflaged. And then... I will put the camera... Don't say you're ahead of me now. Just go. Just go. Don't think about it. I was just about to say to you guys that I've got this feeling I'm being followed. Like, I keep hearing stuff behind me when I'm moving. And when I stand still, it's like it's standing still too. <laughs> it's freaky as shit. So I put... Oh, look at this. Can we stay there? Oh, that'd be real nice. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, let's, let's get in there. Seems like quite a difficult place to reach. Oh, no. Not really. Okay. Little chair. Abandoned treehouse. A cool little spot, though. What's that? I was unconscious for a while, but I'm feeling better. Don't worry. While I was looking for you, Peter, I saw that Aunt Ruby was dead near the waterfall. What happened? I'm scared. Monica. Oh, so Ruby is over there. We just didn't manage to find the... Uh... Oh, fireworks. We didn't manage to find the uh, the body. There's a hammock there too. Put one of those over the top. 
just for the simple case that we're just hanging out here for a minute okay <laughs> let's breathe we've got one trap on the trail up here we've got one here as well we've explored a few places things are looking okay we might have missed just letting me know that it's still there it's still haunting us through the night through the day there's just no rest but we know we've got a few areas that we need to investigate for the missing bodies and we've got to find a way of taking that thing down i have this i have the fireworks now too i don't know if that's going to help there could be other things that i still need to find i mean this is what we've discovered so far and there's still a lot of areas look you can see these areas that i haven't been to just off the beaten path that we can absolutely check out but guys i think for now <laughs> this is where we're going to end if you are enjoying this and you want to see more of it i think i can hear it in the area too <laughs> oh i can we're not going yet okay oh get out of here you spawn of satan oh leave me alone oh can you get inside this oh oh can you get in there you Oh my god he just straight oh he's so mad he just straight up reload reload yeah take those bullets he just straight up uppercutted me from hell did you guys see that i think he hop uppercut and then i did a backflip like <laughs> twice or something and i have no more health the m4 though quite nice oh it has two different levels of health can you guys see that i don't know if you can quite catch i'll put it against the wall so you can see if you look at the top you see it's got the black bar the gray bar and the red bar i think the red bar might recover over time or maybe if he eats like an animal or something i don't know if that recovers his health but that makes more sense now okay so with that being said if you guys want to see more of this <laughs> i probably know what the answer to that is but if you want to see more Drop a like below, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all in the next one.